And hits that. Oh, oh. nice play, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> He's been working hard on his defense. I mean, out there just about every day. A bit for extra bases, but Frank Schwindel talking so much about the bat this time, the quick reflexes, and he snares that line drive from our T Mobile coverage cam. And then, yeah, the point into the dugout. So, yeah, all his hard work's paying off. Making mistakes over the heart of the plate. Kepler to center. Back and gone. A home run. Max Kepler's 18th of the year, and the Twins jump out in front, two to nothing. As you can see that ball was center cut at 86 miles an hour. Can't make a lot of mistakes throwing 86. A low wind cutter just over the wall in right center field. Joe Ryan, who made his major league debut against the Cubs on the 1st of September. Four fastballs and a strikeout. One down. Two strikeouts for Ryan. One breaking ball that nearly was thrown for a strike. You know, like these, both these teams made a lot of trade deadline. Tell you what, repetition and predictability aren't uh, fun to watch sometimes. But one, two, three innings never get tighter. So get it on a line. That works. That. Yeah. And to score his hat. Duffy's coming home. Here's a throw. Cut off. And it's 2 2. Nico Horner delivers. Yeah, sometimes this game will surprise you. Sometimes it is ultimately predictable. And no surprise to see Duffy and Horner have good swings against Ryan. They're just the, their, their swing, their game is a good matchup against Joe Ryan. Back to that elevated fastball, and it's no issue for Nico Horner. He doesn't have that launch angle swing, more of a line drive type approach. Seems They're like, hey, that was really good. Yeah. That was really yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that one served out to left center, and Schwindel, Frank the Tank, make it 11 in a row. Have you seen him play at all? Because it's just barrel after barrel. It's pretty amazing. Busy coaching, Boog. Yeah, fair enough. And I don't, I don't get the network. And uh, I, I need to get the network. Wasn't able to do that. Breaking ball for strike. He's gotten with it, and it's strike three. Two down. And won the battle. And wisdom strikes out again. The two-out single is stranded, and we head to the fourth, tied at two. Deep to right field and Kepler has another one and the twins are back in front. Got him to a three two count and you can see just left a change up over the heart of the plate. Kepler was able to drive that ball for a second home run of the night. Just very good hitting. Came back to get him. And not overpowering him with velocity, but we've talked about it before, and I know you're a big believer in perceived velocity, which is something Joe Ryan definitely has. Strike three, he says. Breaking ball at the knees. Strikeout number seven. Want to get ahead and finish them off with the breaking ball just at the bottom of the strike zone. Just a little 50 pitch, 50 50 pitch, his 68th pitch. And fastball buzzed at the knees. Three strikeouts again in a one, two, three, four. Who should be wearing it? There's a pitch called for a strike. Four, five straight strikeouts now for Ryan, and the last six outs have come on strikeout. At the knees on the corner. Beautiful pitch by Ryan. Strikeout number 10. Back. Second time through the order. The Cubs have one single, and Ryan has eight strikeouts. Max Kepler, two run homer in the first, in the fourth inning, crushed it. A drive right field. 
deep to right center. Max Kepler is off the wall, missing a home run by a matter of feet, and he will stand at second after nearly hitting his third home run for the third time in a, his career. He just missed hitting his third straight home run off of Kyle Hendricks. The ball landed, bounced off the hefty sign in right center field. And Sano rolls one through the legs of Duffy. Kepler around third and he'll score. Should have been the third out, but Duffy didn't field it. No run batted in for Sano, but it's four to two. A little funky English on it. He could hit, you know, hit the grass and kick, you know, spinning sideways towards Duffy's glove hand. And the 2 2. Swing and a miss, strike three. There's the high fastball that you talked about. And it gets the job done. Now the 1 2 pitch on the way to Cave. Swing and a miss, strike three. Alzelay gets out of the jam. Twins don't score. Trino's kind of clutching at his side there. So David Ross wants to come out and check on him. Like that oblique area. All right, so different pitch on the foul. Yeah, he's bothering him there. This that same one just we just showed you. Yeah. We actually saw. It does not matter if the fly ball is deep enough, and it looks like it is. Gordon will score, and the Twins get an insurance run in the night. Well, I saw the third base coach Tony Diaz walk behind Gordon and say something to him. So it's hard for me to believe that he missed the sign. Drilled out towards left center, and that'll touch down for him. This guy's unreal. I mean, it's just the amount of time between rockets is really <laughs> limited. limited. Yeah. Yeah, it was a softy first his first hit of the game but this is a cutter right in the middle of the strike zone at 91 and he barrels it up a one to half ripped out towards left center that'll touch down for a hit Schwindel around third Frank's coming in to score it's an RBI single and the Cubs within two that went a nice night last night two reaches here tonight walk and an RBI single. And it's that cutter from Colome. He loves that pitch. That's his find the zone pitch. A cutter 90 to 92 miles per hour. Hops all over it. On the ground to third. Donaldson collects. Offline. Out. And they tagged him. And Craig Driver is immediately saying, have him look at it. Yeah, great play by Sano. It looked like. Grazed his right arm. Looks like he got him on the forearm or the hand in either case. Let's take a look here. Yeah, you can yeah. see the flop of Sano's glove when contact. Watch Sano's glove. Yeah, he made contact. Before the foot hit the bat. Regardless, a second run is scored here in the ninth, and out is the ball. And perhaps significantly. Duffy at second base did not advance on the ground ball. Trace Thompson tonight is 0 for 3. And the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that's the game as Thompson chased a cutter in the dirt. And the Twins survive and sweep the two-game series.